Hey guys, so it's time here to have the Sony Xperia Z here versus the Apple iPhone uh, with the final public iOS 7 release that did come out today. So let's have some fun and see which one is faster. I don't remember which one was faster uh, when I did it a few months back, but um, this will be fun. This will be fun. Oops. You have to hold it in here. First, shutting down. Wow, the Xperia Z was really, really quick here, shutting down. iPhone with uh, the final, actually, yeah, it's, it's actually the final iOS. Uh, iOS 7, I mean, uh, public, the first public release. It's really slow with putting down. <laughs> But that may not be a big deal, but hey. We all like different things. We all like snappy phones. Xperia. <laughs> we are. You do like that, Xperia? Yeah? It's a good stuff? It probably is good stuff. Here we go, so the iPhone boots up quicker here. And uh, then we do have, I'm not sure why I always have to do this setup on the Xperia Z every time I boot it up. But hey, that may not be, that may, might just be something random. Uh, but it boots up quicker. It, it also, okay, I'm not gonna tease what happened in my Galaxy S4 versus the iPhone 5 here with latest public release. I'm not gonna tease what happened in that, but that was a crazy video. You probably should check that out. Uh, you can see I have the new system update here, but I can't download it. I need like a computer and it doesn't work even when I plug it into a computer. That's a little bit random and awkward and weird. So a uh, quick look here. I can tell you also that I have a full iOS 7 final public uh, review uh, on the iPhone 5 that you might want to take a look at. And if you want to even more in depth, uh, go to that video and comment what you want to see. And uh, I'm probably going to read most of those comments. So have a good day.